Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. It is Memorial Day, so obviously, uh, you know, all the well wishes out there to those that uh, help protect freedoms for many people in this world, not just here in the United States. We're just going to leave it at that. Uh, my grandfather happened to be a veteran. Uh, may he rest in peace. All right, let's get into uh, some stuff today. We, we're going to actually be focusing on a batch of rumors uh, coming from, you know, a source that some of you guys don't like, some of you guys do like. Either way, that's why we're going to put this in a single video here. This isn't going to be a special Prime News episode or anything. Uh, and that's because these rumors happen to deal a little bit with Zelda and also dealing with Pokemon and the fact that, hey, there's probably going to be a Pokemon Presents coming up here in the month of June. We're still not out of May yet, though. So uh, I want to remind everybody that we have a special event coming up called Prime Gaming Fest. Actually, you can get some of this merch, this hat, this this sweatshirt, t-shirts, polos. Well, actually, not polos right now. Whatever. You can get a bunch of uh, Prime Gaming Fest merch if you want. I'll put a link down in the description for you guys to get your orders in for that because Prime Gaming Fest is happening June 9th through June 14th. We have thousands of dollars worth of giveaways happening. But more than that, we have gaming competitions. We have a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament going on, a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Tournament going on as well with real prizes. Oh, we're not done. We have special guests coming on, including HMK. We got, uh, what is it, uh, Nintendo Academy coming on, Andre's Restart. We also have Xbox Era Podcast host um, special Nick coming on as well to talk and react to everything happening at the Xbox Bethesda Showcase. And who knows, maybe some random appearances from my dog Link here. That's right, he is named after the hero from the Legend of Zelda franchise. All right, let's get into uh, some of the stuff we got to talk about here today. Oh, we got a giveaway going on from Mario Strikers, by the way. I always forget to mention that. It's in the pinned comment or down in the description if you're interested in winning a free copy of that. All right. All right, let's let, 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 let's stop with the preamble. Let's get into these, some of these rumors. And you guys might have already guessed by now, they do come from Samus Hunter. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the Samus Hunter stuff at the end because people always have questions about it that I've answered several times over why we still cover Samus Hunter. But we'll, we'll talk about that towards the end. So if you're wondering, Nate, aren't you being contradictory of yourself? Hey, we'll get to this at the end. Now, let's get into the rumors first, because that's what a lot of you guys are here for. Uh, and the first stuff deals a little bit with Zelda. So, um, she said on Twitter, I recently heard that Nintendo got some application file for game processing methods. This was actually like a month or so ago. Uh, the in inventors are people from the Zelda team. Again, we already talked about this on the channel for those that are curious. I'll try to dig up that video and throw it up for you guys. Uh, so, I think Nintendo is preparing to unveil the sequel to Breath of the Wild in the next Direct, which is weird. It's already been unveiled, but... I mean, I think she means a new trailer. Uh, they also have a multilingual dub ready. So she's not not only claiming we're going to see Breath of the Wild at the next Direct, which is rumored to happen in June, but that there's going to be a multilingual dub of it. So cool. There's going to be localized, basically, for different uh, Directs. That's pretty cool. Uh, it was one of the elements I had heard that they were waiting to have a big reveal for the game, which is curious. We've seen the game a couple times, but I guess we haven't seen like a blowout for the game, right? We've just seen short little trailers, so I guess having like a 5 to 10 minute blowout would be pretty, pretty cool. Um, although it being a 2023 game, I wonder why they would do that right now, but hey, you know what? More Zelda is never something I'm going to complain about. Um, so anyways, she goes on to say, I would say that the various pieces are coming together. I still don't know the details about the trailer, so what's in the trailers, uh, and the game we actually will see at the next Direct. So she doesn't know all the games at the next Direct. I mostly have several things that make me speculate on some possible announcements or reveals. And then she later talks about, uh, some people are asking her about Pokemon, and she basically says, yes, there will be a Pokemon Presents before the June Direct. So she's said a couple of things. One, we're going to have a June Direct. Two, there's going to be a Pokemon Presents. Uh, and obviously three, that they're going to have some sort of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 happening at this event uh, that's going to be a, a bigger reveal than we have seen in the past, which I find fascinating since this isn't the big holiday game. As far as we're aware. I mean, they, they did delay it to 2023 unless they're going to undo that delay. Uh, but who knows? Uh, all I know is I'm pretty excited about even... Like, what have I talked about in the past when I'm talking about rumors? Uh, anything involving Zelda is something I'm willing to have conversations about. Uh, and anything involving, um, you know, people that have a, 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 some sort of trackable history is something I'm willing to talk about as well. So this is where I get into, obviously, why am I covering this? Uh, also, the fact that I've always said any rumors around Zelda, I basically am going to cover 
over just because I'm that big of a Zelda nerd. Uh, and I really want this stuff to happen. I would love for Breath of the Wild 2 to actually happen next month. This stuff about Oracle of Age, Oracle of Seasons remakes, or The Moon Maker, Twilight Princess HD. Like, these are the kind of stuff I, I really want to see this stuff happen. I mean, someone comes out and tells me there'll be a Triforce Heroes sequel. I'll probably cover it because, hell yeah, man, I love Triforce Heroes. But... The thing is with Samus Hunter, and some people have said, you know, because I've been critical of her in the past, why do you still cover her? And to that, I, I could just say, what did I say when I said about covering her? I said that I would need to see her get several things correct uh, before I would cover her again. And the reality is, she has gotten several things correct. Now, to be clear, I don't cover even got half of the things Samus Hunter says anymore. Uh, I am beyond, you know, relying on her for literally everything that she says because that's just not the way I go. And, and ironically enough, a lot of the things I don't cover are the things that come true. So look, she does still get a lot of stuff correct. I don't know if her, the, what she told me in the past where she gets her information from, if it's actually where she gets her information from. Maybe she is just getting stuff off family boards, which I'm part of. Maybe she's getting stuff from other insiders on Discord servers and all that. I have no idea. And I've said before, I really don't care where the information comes from. I care about its accuracy. And reality is, more than half of the things that Samus Hunter says happen. Uh, so... What, what am I supposed to do? I just blatantly ignore it just because she's gotten like a, a few big things wrong? Like, okay, cool. Uh, blatantly ignore it because, you know, uh, John from Good Good Vibes Gaming uh, has basically called her out uh, for not knowing what the hell she's talking about. Hey, man, that's cool. Um, I don't disagree with John or anyone who's critical of Samus Hunter, but she also still gets a bunch of stuff correct. And I think uh, we're beyond the point of just throwing a bunch of shit at a wall and seeing what sticks. Uh, there are some rumor people out there that are like that, that people get less angry about when I cover. Uh, as an example, if I made a video about something Zippo said, uh, people seem to get less angry about that, even though he's been less right than pretty much any other person I've ever covered. So what are you going to do? Um, I, I find these rumors just to be fascinating. Uh, I don't like, I, I still don't like the way Samus Hunter carries herself per se. Uh, she's really blatant uh, in, in how she advertises herself. I mean, literally her, her, her Twitter account says Samus Hunter, and then it's a slash Nintendo leak and news inside. Like, okay, not a fan of the attitude there. Little too forward for my liking. I like the way Emily Rogers does things, right? We know who she is. She's out there. And she presents information when she has it, and that's about it. She doesn't sit there and push herself as some sort of savant insider uh, who's seeking attention, which uh, Samus Center usually does. However, as I said, Samus Center does tend to get a lot right, so that's why we cover it. And I want to know, what are you guys' thoughts? Do you guys think we're going to see a bunch of Breath of the Wild 2 at the next Direct? Uh, do you think we're going to see, obviously, a Pokemon Presents? I, the thing is, we're, we're getting new generation Pokemon games, so I think Pokemon Presents is, is almost a given. I'm not so sure I'm sold entirely on a Nintendo Direct happening in June, but if it does, uh, Breath of the Wild 2, why not? I, I think they have a lot of other things they could talk about instead of Breath of the Wild 2. I don't expect Breath of the Wild 2 maybe so closer to the September Direct, which they usually have, but hey, you know what? More Zelda is good in my book, and hey, maybe they'll surprise us. Maybe a playable demo? I don't know. They, they did have a demo for Breath of the Wild. I know it was only at E3, but maybe this time around they want to do something a little different, give the public just a, a little taste. I don't know. Maybe that's just a pipe dream. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nintendo Robo Jets from Nintendo Prime. My dog is winding up a storm. I'm not really sure why. I think he just misses us. We had a wedding this weekend, so we were gone uh, all weekend at the wedding, and I think he just, he's he missing me. Oh, Linky, come here, Link. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, you. Oh, you. Who's a good boy? Oh, yeah. Who's a good Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me kisses. No. No kisses. Ah! All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.